with Rick Dorval of the Hawksbury Hawks. Rick, you went to Hawksbury in the last couple of years. You've certainly brought them back to respectability. When you went into the, a 40-win season last season, when you're going into this season, what were the expectations, and how would you break this year down to date? I mean, the expectations were definitely uh, we were we were hoping for a top three finish. Uh, you know, we can look at it as a disappointment, but we've been banged up all season. We had. Uh, we counted 55 guys to had to uh, either miss some time or uh, see the physio for uh, injuries, and it's been a rough go. I mean, I probably count one hand how many games we play with a full roster. So um, a lot of change trying to fill some holes, and uh, but overall it's been great. I mean, we're competing here for home ice, and hopefully uh, down the stretch here we can secure it with a couple wins and. Um, and playoffs the whole different story and, and you play to have success in the playoffs and you want to get ready you use 62 games to get ready for the playoffs and um, you know you don't go to the Fred Page or the Royal Bank by winning the regular season so we just got to be ready for playoffs and uh, be trucking and hopefully hope for the best. Yeah, I mean, you, you just mentioned about the inju injuries, and that, that's, that's something with when you look at your consistency this season. I think you had a one uh, five game winning streak, but you really haven't lost any more than two in a row. So, despite the things, you've, you've done pretty well. Yeah, I mean, uh, the guys have come together. You know, luckily, um, it's not been a slew of guys at the same time. Um, it's been two or three where you know, our depth would, would be affected, but. Uh, and we we're lucky enough that it wasn't multiple guys at the same time, so it allows us to, to continue to be able to put a, a pretty good team on the ice and uh, a team that competed every night and that enjoyed coming to the ring and being successful. You've had a great uh, nucleus or core, uh, obviously some great leadership, Levesque, uh, Sear, Everson. Uh, it'd be tough to kind of see them go. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you watch them uh, mature and grow through the program the last few years. I know Sear was there from day one and um, when I took over the team. And just to see where they were then and where they are now, not only as hockey player, but as as people and, and what they've done in the community and how they've grown as students as well. And uh, I, I just, it's nice to see. It'll be hard to replace, definitely. But, I mean, that's what our business is about, is to help these uh, these young boys move on and to bigger and better things. And hopefully they've learned enough here to be successful moving on in their life. It's interesting how the teams interact in this league. Uh, parity has been, been used somewhat, but it's very interesting. And case in point, you're 4-0 to date uh, with the Braves in this series. Um, I'm sure there's some other teams that might have your number, but what, what's gone on in this series? They've, they've been close games for the most part, one goal hockey games except for a 2 nothing game. I mean, both sides we compete. Like, uh, you know, we don't want to give up an inch either side. I mean, both both goaltenders have been great every uh, matchup. Um, we're, pr we're pretty evenly matched, you know, and the, part of the reason why uh, we're all battling for 4-5-6 here, uh, I mean, a uh, bounce here, a bounce there, it's a different hockey game, but uh, uh, there have been great, exciting hockey games, and I mean, there's been uh, no love lost between the two teams, that's for sure. If you look at the standings right now, is it pretty much, uh, that you, that you, do you have a shot at third, or is it looking like fourth, and that, that does come with a home uh, component? I mean, it would be a far stretch. We need Ottawa or Cornwall to basically, yeah, a lot of help. Um, they basically have to lose out, and we'd have to win out um, you know, and we don't play them at all, so it's kind of, it's a little bit out of our, our hands, and we just got to keep winning, but at a certain point, we got to make sure that we go down healthy into the playoffs, and, you know, it's a pretty hefty goal to chase, and if we finish fourth and secure home ice, uh, we'll be happy as long as we go into the playoffs healthy. You mentioned healthy, uh, obviously an injury uh, woe year, but uh, what, what's your status right now? Um, I mean, we've got uh, two of our committed guys are both uh, on the IR. One, there's no expectation of uh, date of return. And the other one, you know, dislocated his shoulder and we thought he was done for the year, but went back home, got some treatments, and he's now skating. So he's day-to-day -day, uh, when he'll be cleared to play. So that's going to be some great news for us. And, um, you know, Tyler Cooper, a big piece of our decor and a big acquisition for us at the deadline, um, woke up this morning with a severe... Um, eye infection and had to see the doctor and 
they've kind of wrote him off for the next 48 hours while hopefully the medication kicks in. So um, he's seen out of one eye just for the present time. So hopefully no long-term damage and uh, we get him back uh, by f hopefully Sunday, but at the latest next week. Finally, uh, you made some transactions. Uh, seems like a long time ago at the deadline. Uh, what were they addressing? Uh, I need it on the back end. I mean, we thought we, we lacked some toughness. Um, we we lacked that leadership, the veteran presence, guys that could play, you know, big minutes that have been there. And we feel that Wesley Ashley and uh, Tyler Cooper definitely adds that to our, our decor, two tough stay-at-home defensemen that uh, can play the 200-foot game and, and protect the front of our net. So we felt that was a big acquisition for us. And then we were able to acquire a, a kid like Casey who flat out can skate in an open rink uh, and the big rinks uh, he can use his wheels and, and create a lot of offense for us. And he's been great for us uh, since acquiring him from the BCHL. So we've been pretty happy with the three acquisitions. Finally, what do the Hawks need to do to be successful tonight, Rick? Oh, we got to compete. Um, there's no doubt about it. You can't take a night off in this league, and I think pretty much every team in this league has proven it throughout the course of the year. You take a night off, and it doesn't matter who you play, uh, you're in for a tough night. So we got to compete hard. we got to put pucks to the net and get to the net on uh, Johnson. He's been uh, tremendous again this year and you know, one of the top guys uh, two years in a row. So if you don't get pucks to the net and traffic to the net, it's going to be a tough goal for us. So uh, we just got to be ready to compete hard tonight. Thanks, Rick. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Rick Dorvell at Hawksbury Hawks.